Hi friends. Today I went to the thrift store. I was going to take you guys along with me, but I'm not really comfortable recording in the thrift store since my thrift store is very, very busy and I just didn't feel comfortable. But I went to Desert Industries and I found just a few little items that I wanted to share with you. And I may possibly go back tomorrow and I might add to this haul since it is a very small haul. So let me just jump right in and show you some of my finds from thrifting. So I found these pretty little coasters. They're out of glass. They were 75 cents each. I found three. I was hoping I would have found a fourth, but I looked everywhere in the store and they didn't have uh, any anymore. It was just the three that I seen. This was 75 cents and I thought it was so pretty. And if you look, I don't know if you guys can see, it's a rose underneath there and I like the hobnail that goes around the coaster and it's just so pretty and so again like I said I just found three at 75 cents each and they have here you can feel like a little ridge right here where you can put your glass on there and I just thought it was just so pretty so I said you know I'd rather just take three than not take them at all I thought they were really pretty so I'll keep my eyes out or open <laughs> for um maybe in the future finding some more of these but I just thought it was really pretty I don't know if you guys can see that rose and for 75 cents each I just went ahead and I grabbed them they were really really pretty so I had to pick those up my next find was this apothecary it was only 75 cents and it is really small which is probably why it was 75 cents but I just thought it was really pretty let me let me get the top off all right, here's the top. I thought it broke when the girl was putting it in the bag. It fell over and it sounded like it cracked, but thank God it did not break. But anyways, it was 75 cents, which is not a bad deal for this small little apothecary. I don't really have a use for them, but I figured they'd be good to put like mints or something uh, just to decorate around the house with. But I thought this was really cute for 75 cents. I couldn't pass up this apothecary. I don't know what was on there. Who knows? But 75 cents for this cute little apothecary jar is not a bad deal. So I found this clear little tray for 75 cents. I bought some longer, shorter ones at Dollar Tree for $1.25. And I seen this one and for 75 cents, I said, well, I am going to pick it up and use it, I don't know, maybe in my pantry somewhere. Maybe to stand up my oatmeal, my packets of oatmeal. Well, my son, he buys packets of oatmeal. Maybe I could use it for that. Or maybe I could find a use in, in my craft room here. But for 75 cents, I picked up this little plastic container. My next item, I was kind of excited to find. I only found one. I was hoping I would find a pair, but I did not. And it was this brass candle holder. Look at how pretty. It is brass. I used the magnet and it didn't stick to the magnet, which is brass. And it's, you know... Um, you could tell it's brass just by feeling it. But I found this little candle holder. It looks like it's a poinsettia. And it's just really, really pretty. I mean, my gosh, it's dirty and I got to clean it. And I'm sure it's going to look really, really nice once I clean it up. And it was too bad because I searched everywhere in the store for uh, the pair for the other one. But I didn't find it. And for uh, it didn't have a price. So the cashier gave it to me for a dollar. It's so pretty. I love it. The next two items I found were these little, um, I, what would you call them? Um, oh my gosh, I know the word. I know what they're called, but I can't remember. Spatulas, I believe, maybe. I, but I thought they were really pretty. And this one was a dollar. And this one didn't have a price, but the cashier again gave it to me for one dollar. And I think they're really pretty, especially when I do my tea parties, when we cut the cake or pie or whatever, you can use this to bring out your fancy little like spatulas. I think they're really, really pretty. So a dollar each is not a bad deal. They're dirty. I have to clean them up, but I thought they were really nice looking and I'm going to add this to my collection. My last find was this book here. It was $2. It is a D Disney book. I can't talk here. It's called The Art of Disney, Walt Disney. And it is really pretty. And it, you could tell it had a cover, but this one didn't have the cover on it. It's just like this. And it's really nice. It's, let me show you the front. 
Look at how cute. It looks like a classic Mickey. And then look, oh my goodness, how cute is this book? So cute. So I had to pick it up for $2. I liked it. My daughter always says, Mom, how do you always find these things? Well, it's always hit or miss. You just never know what you're going to find, but you have to go often and look at how cute. You have to go often and, you know, not always are you going to find something. So I seen this and I thought it was really cute, so I had to pick it up. And um, that was everything that I found today. I decided to go back to the thrift store and I found two more items, so I'm going to add to this haul. So I found this box here. Let me see if I can. There we go. I found this box here. I thought it was very, very pretty. Look at how glittery. And it's got the raised stars and the raised stripes. I got it for $2. But what's inside the box is these ornaments right here for the 4th of July. I don't usually put up a 4th of July tree. But I might put a small one. I don't know. I thought these were really pretty. And I like the shape of this one here. That are pretty. And so for $2... I picked it up. I thought it was really pretty and I can also decorate with the box and so I just figured maybe I'll do a, a 4th of July tree this year. God willing. We shall see. But for $2 I couldn't pass this box up. So now for my last item I picked up this tray here. This platter. It has the sections here on this Mexican pottery platter but and I got it for $2 but this one was broken and it's missing one of these little sections which whatever I don't mind I can go to the swap meets and see if I can find just a couple of these little sections but if not I can still use the platter obviously I can't use this one this one's broken but I can just use the platter and I could just use this without all the little sections and use this separately but I thought it was really pretty and for two dollars I couldn't pass this up it's so stunning I just love it it's my heritage so I absolutely love it so that was everything that I got at the thrift store I did go to Hobby Lobby last night with my husband and he picked himself up some more of those we call them warrior bugs but it's those metal like bugs and uh, he picked up a peacock a metal peacock and stuff for outside but I did get some Easter stuff and just a couple of Valentine's Day stuff that was 66% off. So let me show you what I found really quickly at Hobby Lobby. So now that Valentine's Day is over, Hobby Lobby has their Valentine's Day stuff for 66% off. My Hobby Lobby didn't have a lot, but they did have these uh, Chanel stems, pipe cleaners, whatever you want to call them. And I picked up a pack of these. I like to have them in different colors for whatever you know I may use them for wreaths that I do with mesh and so I picked up just a pack of that and then I picked up this cute little rolling pin I thought it was so cute it's normally $2.99 but again everything was 66% off they also had those little plates that I have bought those vintage looking plates but I didn't need any more so I left those behind and the last Valentine's Day stuff that I picked up was this little guy here He's the only one I didn't pick up. Normally he's $3.49. I got him for like, it was a dollar and change. I wasn't sure if I wanted him, but they had one left. And I said, you know, I'm just going to pick it up. And I thought it was cute, the little doggy. So I figured I'd pick it up. So those were the only things that I got that were Valentine's Day at Hobby Lobby. But let me show you what I got for Easter. So all of the Easter stuff at Hobby Lobby is 40% off. And I picked up, oh my God, look at this little guy. Isn't he cute, <laughs> the little glasses? So I did take a lot of pictures of some of the stuff that I did see that kind of look vintagey to me at Hobby Lobby. And I posted them on my Instagram, but I will post them at the end of this video as well, just in case you don't want to go to Instagram. I'll insert those pictures here at the end. But I got this little bunny. He's small. He was $8.99, but again, it was 40% off. And they had different styles, well, two different styles of the glasses. They had the round ones, and then they had like some, oh gosh, like half moon kind of glasses. But I like the round glasses. I thought it was really cute. So we picked this guy up. 
and also I picked up a lot of vintage looking little ornaments kind of like the ones from Valentine's look at this little guy oh my goodness how cute so this is $2.99 but again it was 40% off and look at how cute all glittery and I thought this little it says what an Easter time hello I thought this little birdie was so cute and then look at this one oh my goodness how adorable look at that and it's all glittery right here her little bows are glittery so cute then look at this little lamb oh my goodness it says Easter gre greetings but look at how precious but my favorite one was this one. Oh my goodness. This little girl looks like the, back in the day, the copper tone little girl in the bottle that they used to put on there. I think she looks so adorable. And look at the little sheep or the lamb, the little lamb. How cute. I just love that. So those are the four designs that they had that I seen. I don't know if they had any more. I didn't see any more. Those are the only four. So I picked them up. And then the last two items was these here and they had four different styles i only picked up two but i did take pictures of the other ones look at how cute oh my goodness isn't that cute it's a little metal sign and this was 6.49 you can use it on a wreath but they are small so you can use it on a wreath or in a easter tree if you want to do an easter tree i grabbed that one and i grabbed this one they're so cute I just love them. Look at that. It looks like a little postcard. And again, this was $6.49, but it was 40% off of that. So I'm not going to take a chance and leaving them behind and then they sell out. So I just had to grab them. And I thought those were really, really pretty. So that was everything. For Valentine's Day, I did add gummy bears to these little guys from Dollar Tree. And I gave them to my kids. I just wanted to show you how cute that looks. Oh my God. So cute. But I hope everybody had a wonderful Valentine's Day, and we had a nice one. It was a quiet one. I made some sopes for dinner. I shaped them in hearts. I'll show you guys a picture of what it looks like, what the sopes look like at the end, too. But anyways, yeah, I'm just jumping off subject here. I'm just rambling now. Anyway, I wanted to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys go out there and find some great deals, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, friends. So I made these Brie Bites for the Super Bowl. And I wanted to include them in this video. I shaped them like hearts and they were so delicious. And then I made the sopes in shapes like hearts. And I just filled them with some ground beef and some pickled onions that I made. And this was our dessert. Anyways, now let me show you our Easter pictures that I took at Hobby Lobby. Thank you for watching, friends. Bye.